uh, I mean, one of our um, sharings on a, a national basis uh, was really our mistake that when we did our first training program 1998 to 2003 we did train over 96 percent of teachers it was very successful but because we were trying to focus on pedagogy we decided that head teachers principals were didn't require training they weren't part of it and so our training model was that teachers went on training by themselves um, what we discovered very quickly was that without the head teacher being involved the training wasn't working it wasn't having the impact back in the school that we were expecting um, and really we had made a mistake by not involving head teachers in that process where head teachers ignored us and actually just got involved by themselves whether we liked it or not the training was actually very effective and actually made a real difference where they followed the guidelines we'd given them and weren't involved they didn't really understand what teachers were trying to do when they came back from training or when the trainers actually came into the institution and so they weren't supportive and they weren't able to follow through so I, I, I think really that unless you include within that sort of training program the senior leaders and I actually go as far as to say it's the senior leadership team within a school unless you include that uh, as part of your strategy and as part of your tactics for implementation then implementation is probably doomed to failure. So we go through different phases, first of all making sure the teacher is computer literate, that they understand how a computer works, what they can do with it. They don't have to be uh, experts, but they must be good computer users. Then the second phase um, is the product knowledge, where to press the buttons, like if they get an the interactive whiteboard, how to use it, what are the different functions. The third part is the most important and that is helping them to use it as a teaching tool and most of our time is spent on that. Um, it's not just a, a, a gadget, it's something that, that you must use to teach. How do you use it to teach? And so we've uh, employed the whole team of, um, I call them facilitators, others call them coaches. We have 70 of them that are visiting, visiting teachers on a regular basis, going into the classrooms with them, uh, showing them how it is being done. So, and th and that, that takes a lot of time and it's an ongoing process. Some teachers they take to it just like that. Others, they need months, even years, for them to, to make that shift. Yeah, get as much professional development as you can, not only from your district, because we can't depend on our districts. You know, so often we depend on our district and we take whatever professional development our district's offering, but we have to take the initiative ourselves as teachers to learn this. You know, I, myself included, I've signed up for workshops in Hartford, Connecticut in August, which are just one day workshops on how to do certain things with the smart board. So we as teachers really need to take the initiative not depend upon the district to do it. Because there are wonderful workshops out there that are really specific to what you want to do in your classroom. And you know, the other advice I have, and it's advice I've taken to heart myself, is that you don't need to be overwhelmed. You really want to figure out what is it I want technology to do for me. Right, when we, when we start with the training process, we provide the training. Uh, we have training courses within the school. I believe in just-in-time training. I don't believe in taking uh, teachers out of the school environment because it's different. So we provide the technology immediately when the technology is there, whether it's a computer lab or interactive whiteboard, uh, then immediately after that the training starts. We um, expect our commercial partners, the providers of the technology, to help us with that type of, type of training, with the uh, product training. And then from there on, on an ongoing basis we train. We also encourage the different vendors to have user groups, very, very successful uh, conferences, mini conferences, any way of training or building enthusiasm we, we like to latch on to.